4th of July and we wanted to show you guys a tour of the inside of our 2020 Winnebago Rebel. This is a step. This is a door. <laughs> it's an automatic sliding door that you can do with the fob or from inside the vehicle. So I'm gonna show you guys how you just quickly pull it. It'll open. You can see there's a table here that Matt and I use for outdoor eating or when we cook outside on our doors foreman. It's easy to use, you just open up these flaps here. Matt and I, we did a little custom rigging instead of the table leg that goes here. We didn't really care for it. We screwed in a rope to hold it. We find that it works a lot better, it's a lot easier. We don't have to haul the table leg that way. actually pretty cool. You can kind of pull it back like this and it magnetizes. We have some outlets going on here. Dirty outlets. What's that? I have no idea. Let's find out. It's for an extra solar uh, panel if you bring one with you. Thanks Matt. There's a ladder. We don't really care for the stock ladder but we keep it. We have a couple of chairs back here. People have been kind enough to leave them alone and not steal them. This is a Sprinter. That's because it's built on a Mercedes 2500 uh, Sprinter work van chassis. And it is all wheel drive. The back here, it's easy to open. You just gotta maneuver your hands around the, the chairs we have here. We should have picked a better spot to film. We just open the doors. Ching. And just like the other entrance, we have this magnetized bug screen again. Open here. Okay. This is a 30 amp, 125 volt charging. That's for shore power. So right here is the gatekeeper to our sewage. We don't have sewage, we have a cassette toilet. There's no black tank on this vehicle. I don't have my keys on me. Otherwise, wait, I do. Ah. Nifty, handy dandy key. We store some cleaning chemicals in there, some gloves to do dirty work, and then our cassette toilet. Which is easy, you just uh, lift this and it'll pop up. And where do you dump that? Anywhere, darn well please. I can dump it at any public restroom. Um, just carry it like a suitcase, dump it in a toilet anywhere, or at any official dumping station. water tank. It's easy. You just uh, twist and take the cap off, pull this little lever and the water will come streaming out. So one thing that we did get with this vehicle, uh, there's not many options available. One, one that we did get is an upgraded uh, tire and suspension package. So ours is actually jacked up a little bit higher than most Rebels. This is the city water, so if you're hooked up to shore power, you can also hook up to shore water. We find it to be mostly useless um, because it's 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 harder to get uh, on-demand hot water that way. It's much easier just to use the S-bar system inside, which we'll talk a little bit about later. Here's the beautiful front of the Revel. Lots of dead bees and bugs. If you push a button in there, this awning will open. 
and if it gets too windy it, it's got a built-in wind sensor so it will retract on its own entrance of my home so a couple of mercedes chairs here i find they're okay to sit in um i don't like sitting in for a very long time i'm really picky about my chairs matt finds it fine though a little bit of storage area there's a glove box one of our modifications is this dash cam which i ran a cable around and then into here to get power now you hook up like android auto or uh, apple car play or whatever it's called a couple other places to charge your phone here and it does have a wireless charger here we don't really find it very useful though so we don't don't use that there's extra charging down here one thing i really like about this revel is the amount of storage that you actually can get in here there's storage above keep all of our camera equipment up here and this is where we keep like our blackout curtain i keep my headphones and things just kind of things that both of us need and you have storage in the doors as well storage drawer here and then there's there's actually one underneath it too this one just has our brush for kind of sweeping out the van this is what we used our cheap paper towel holder we just got a bungee it fits right up here on this uh this metal overhead part of the cab super easy to just roll it down a lot of people put them over here in the kitchen we didn't like that the steam um, when you're cooking will get onto the paper towels and it'll make them wet and gross and I don't really care for that. One of the mods we did was we put this baby bumper right here um, because this is kind of a sharp edge. So this bumper really helps a lot. And then up here is just a bunch more storage. We use it as kind of an extended pantry, you know, Cokes and beer and extra utensils that are throw away, the coffee maker. And then our hygiene bags are over here. So right here is our wardrobe. All we... of my clothes are right here. And all of Daniel's clothes are right there. So all of Daniel's stuff goes in. And we downsized a lot to fit our clothes into here. Fits probably, I don't know, a little more than two weeks worth of clothes for each of us. We tend to do laundry maybe once a week and that's plenty. Mm -hmm. Kitchen supplies here. These are just easy, you just push them in, they go in or out. Easy, just pots, pans, George Foreman, anything like that. We have a couple of uh, cups in here, just random kitchen utensils. This is kind of our pri primary cooking here. It's a really nice cast iron. All the systems are right here. So just a quick overview. This is for the Euroloft bed. You do on or off to raise or lower. So you can kind of, this is jumping ahead, but you can see the bed back there. So if I do this and press that, bed comes down. We'll kind of show that more later. For now, I'll put the bed back up. Um, this is your thermostat for the heater. This is for the max air fan, which is above us. Really nice for circulating air through the house part of the unit. We, uh, this is a modification we did. We put these labels on because they don't come labeled and we could never remember what the different things do. This is for the S-Bar system. I was talking about this earlier. We find that this S-Bar system is really good. It heats the house part of the unit and it also gives you on-demand hot water. So you turn it on and wait 10, 15 minutes or so, you got really good hot water for showers or for doing dishes. This is the solar charger. As you can see, it's uh, charging. Over here is our one place. This is where you turn the water pump on and off. You can also check your tank levels and your battery levels. So right now we're at about a third of a tank of fresh water. We'll be refilling that pretty soon. And we have about a third of a tank of gray water. Electric heat or electric hot water heater. We almost never use it uh, because we find that the SPAR system is just superior to it. Do use it if you're hooked up to shore power um, because it's kind of better than nothing. If it is pretty cold outside, it's much better to use the S-Bar. So technically this is where you can sit two more people and there's actually a table over here, but we don't 
we don't use it for that because we have a lounge area in the back, which is kind of our main hangout area where we do work and stuff like that. We bought a couple of bins for our shoes. We kind of just velcroed them there to the floor just to make sure they wouldn't rattle around or anything while we were driving. Um, we separate our shoes out. We both have a raincoat that we try to hang behind our driver's doors. It seems to work well for us. Kitchen area, my favorite area, but also uh, the reason why I was so skeptical to live in the Revel in the first place this is the small kitchen. But I found that it actually works out pretty well. Uh, we have under here, there's an induction cooktop. Do you want to show that? No, because it's messy. Here's our induction cooktop. We just keep this uh, pad on top of it with my cutting board. Uh, our sink opens real easy. And kind of move around, hot cold water. This is an extra extension. So if I'm prepping items for food, I can go ahead and use this as well. A little bit of a counter space. We have our trash here. Matt just added a command hook here. He screwed that in. And then we just replace these daily. Those are just you know, standard uh, shopping bags from Walmart, Safeway, so on and so forth, which is nice because they're free. We have our funnel when we want to refill our water tanks through gravity. So we didn't talk about that much earlier. You can refill your tanks. You, it's probably the, you know, the fastest way is to hook your hose up at a water spigot and you connect that on the outside um, to fill up your water tank but you can also do it by gravity so that's nice if you're at like a park that doesn't that that's got water but you can't really hook up your water hose to it you can just refill um, a gallon jug and pour it in there using that funnel until you refill your fresh water and we've done that two or three times it works really well um, it's a feature we didn't think that we would use we actually really like it a lot um, and I believe this is like a 20 or 21 gallon fresh water tank. So that lasts us four to five days, usually sometimes up to a week if we're pretty stingy with water. Um, so that's something that we only have to do, you know, every now and then it doesn't take too long to get refilled. We added a couple of little shelves here. We bought these, I believe from Walmart. Then we're like, I don't know, maybe $15 a piece. I don't have any fresh fruits or veggies right now, but it's normally where I keep them. Uh, we keep our bread up here. Added a little mirror here so I can uh, look at my pearly whites when I brush my teeth at the sink. Inside here is cleaning stuff. We have our laundry stuff. We have just soap, hand soap, random cleaners, glass cleaner. Um, the towels we use for cleaning like the floors and the bathroom and the kitchen supplies. All up there. Here I have my spice rack. Um, I have a few spices, um, a little bit of tea in there. Just things I use most often I put in here. This is our pantry area. Tried to keep it organized, but you know, things shuffle and move around when you're driving an RV. We have three cabinets here. Uh, I wish they were a little longer so I could fit more utensils or better utensils in there, but we did what we could. Um, in the first cabinet, we just keep like our, our knives, our forks, our spoons, um, measuring cups, wine opener. Got the utensils in here that we know we would use. We want to make some s'mores, a thermometer, can opener, things of that nature. Things that are a little bit longer that wouldn't fit in this this drawer here. And the last drawer, it's a couple of random knickknacks, uh, bowls, my teacup, and we have a fridge. 
It's a Nova Cool fridge. I have no idea about how big it is cubically, but it holds a decent amount of stuff. And it does it does have a freezer. Yes, it does have a freezer. We don't have too much in there right now. Freezer. Got some ice here. It's frozen and some ice cream. And we don't have too much in the refrigerator, but you can see, I mean, it does go back a little bit further than what you would think. The most important part is that you've got a place here for your cans of Coke and beer and things like that. <laughs> Our bathroom, which is actually a wet bath. So it has a toilet with a shower combined. It was intended to also be kind of a wet storage closet. Like if you go skiing or something, you've got things that are wet mm -hmm. that you want to put in there. We tend to mostly use it for a lot of different purposes, actually, as you'll see. We actually got rid of the shelves that came in here because we found that we don't use it for storage. We don't need the bathroom for storage. We use all the other storage available. Okay, I lied. We do have storage in here, um, but it was kind of aftermarket, something we did ourselves. We just bought uh, a shoe rack, cheap from Walmart. We screwed them in up there and that holds a lot of stuff as you can see you know, dryer balls toilet paper paper towels some of my hygiene stuff some extra tools and things we keep our laundry in here our dirty laundry in a bag um, we can just you know take it out as needed if we're going to take a shower I have our towels in here this curtain we just have it up because to make sure it dries so a lot of times when I take a shower, this drives me crazy. So you can just take it out and we actually set it, set it here. There's a little Velcro and there's Velcro up here. So it will stay right here on this along this side while I'm taking a shower. Um, but yeah, the curtain will come down. We have some, can you see it? See what? This. Yeah. Okay, we have a little bit of storage here. Um, the only thing in there right now is match shampoo and my hair mask. I don't really like to keep anything in there because it's kind of a pain. We have our toilet paper storage here. It's supposed to keep it dry. I found that sometimes if it's not completely closed 100% when you take a shower then it will get a little wet in there and the toilet paper gets wet. So we That's tend to no not not use it really. Yeah. This is our cassette toilet. This is the closed position. So if I open it right now, we look in there, it's, it's closed. The open position, it's open into the vast blackness of sewage. The cassette holding tank, which we showed you on the outside. Here's how we flush the toilet. There's a little button here. You have to make sure the water pump is on. Press it for a few seconds. So something cool about the toilet. Um, I normally just sit on it normal, like this. Um, I'll have this door kind of open. I don't really care. <laughs> Same. But if people want a little bit more privacy and they don't want to close their door, you can rotate your toilet around and sit that way. We keep our soap up here. I keep my little loofah. To turn the water on, you just turn your hot or cold water. Uh, I don't know who would want cold water for a shower, but I mean, you do you. There's a fan on right now. You yeah, can hear it. We tend to leave that fan on um, quite a bit of the time to really help, you know, Dry out. to yeah, to help circulate the air through. Okay, and something cool about the shower is this little button here press it one way and the water will come out when the water is actually on and then press it another way and it stops the water so you don't have to mess with the knobs when you're actually taking a shower next we have the living area so something we got aftermarket after we bought the revel called the GLSS we wanted an area where we could kind of sit back, relax, lounge a little bit, a little bit of like a living room area. That also has storage. That also has storage, yes. 
We were really concerned about storage in the Revel since we were selling a lot of our possessions. We wanted to make sure that we had enough room for what we didn't sell. And, you know, keepsakes and things that we wanted to bring with us that had sentimental value to us. As you can see, I have this set up as kind of a workstation right now. I do all my work from home, so I've got my laptop set up right there. Um, over here, I've got a TV with a Bluetooth soundbar. TV is set up for Samsung DeX right now, so I can put my phone on there. It uses the phone's internet to project onto the TV so that we can, you know, stream movies and things like that. But you can set it up as like a double monitor setup if you want with the laptop. I just run my HDMI cable to the TV. That's another really important mod that we did. We wanted a TV that we could watch while we're in the lounging area or if we lower the bed that we can watch while we are laying in bed. Um, so that's kind of how that is set up. Um, we just, I just took a huge gamble and uh, bought this pretty cheap rack mount from Walmart and screwed it directly into the wall and hung the TV on it like a picture. And it's been on there for three or four weeks now, really solid, no problems. Something really neat about this system is that it has a lot of storage. So these are seats, but underneath is actually quite quite a bit of storage. You can kind of see um, there's some things in there, like a backpack and blankets, games. It's basically just two very large bins on both sides that we have filled with a bunch of things. That's on that side and the same deal over here on this side. Underneath the living area, we also have a microwave that we bought from Walmart. We, we don't use it very often, but it's just nice to have kind of in a pinch. It's a very low power draw. Um, it's only a 700 watt. The inverter in, in the Revel is a 2000 watt, so it can handle it pretty comfortably. Um, we don't use it very often, like I said, but it's nice to have in a pinch. And this table goes up and down. We've got it up right now. Uh, so that I can do work and if we make meals we tend to eat most of our meals on it uh, but we do lower it um, whenever it's bedtime so that we can put the bed all the way down so I want to show you guys what the bed looks like when it's mostly down I'm not gonna put it down all the way because I'm not putting the table down right now to raise and lower the bed is really easy we just you just turn the key so up or down. It's up right now, so I'm gonna put it down. And that is fully down. You always want to turn this key off whenever you're done. Danielle forgets that sometimes. I forget it all the time. Our bed. There's honestly a decent amount of room in this bed. Uh, I sleep on this side usually. There's enough room for Matt. Yeah, your feet aren't, aren't even up against the wall. No, but my head's not. Oh, my head's usually about right here. Yeah. So that's that's where I sleep. And I am five foot seven inches. Okay. Is that about it? Oh, here. These lights were super bright and I wanted something cheap to fix it. Um, I, we're not electrical experts. We didn't want to change out the lights. So I just put some duct tape over them and they're pretty dim now. They're... At night, they, they do give a very nice yeah. kind of sense of hearth. Yeah. This netting here. Um, for things like to charge up our phones at night if they need to be charged or um, to hold like our, our TV remote or any extra electronics that we use often. We have a beautiful Star Trek poster here. It glows in the dark so it's kind of cool ambience at night. Um, but actually it's broke a little bit at the top. Thanks Matt. This, and, this had um, a cushion just like this side of the bed does. Mm -hmm. But you can't see. Um, yeah, this is this cushion here. There was one on the other side. We took that off to make more of like a desk area so I could put more things on it. Um, and we don't need it for our feet at night. Okay, I think that might be about it. Uh, oh, uh, the Winnebago did come with a big AC unit up here. I think that's not a standard feature. It's an option, but it seems to come on most of them according to the dealer that we worked with. 
But as you see, we don't have that anymore. We had them replace it with a fan that can suck air out just like the other Max Air fan can. And it can also blow fresh air in from outside. So it can really give you that nice wind tunnel effect. We like that because you don't need to be on shore power. The AC required 30 amp shore power to run. So it's kind of useless if you're in the rubble. Um, so we got this fan instead because that just runs on uh, 12 volt power. So now it's just like a fully self-sufficient uh, unit. Plus, now the 2021, apparently, because it's, it's got a lithium uh, power system, it can run the AC for like two hours. It's not really that good anyway. But we didn't go with the 2021 because you sacrifice a ton of storage space underneath. Where the GLSS is in this one, all that extra storage, a lot of that is taken away because they put the batteries inside the unit. But we didn't want to sacrifice the extra storage. Plus, there are third-party lithium upgrade options you can do in the 2020. To us, the 2020 was the last really good model year for the Revel that could do kind of everything that we wanted to be able to do without sacrificing any storage. Did we get everything? Okay, that's it. On this episode of Cribs, 